everyone. It's up North Collectors here. We are opening up Rookie Card Explosion Box Volume Number 26 by Filmington. It's February's edition 2021. So let's get into seeing what packs we got here. Always a good lineup. Didn't watch the reveal video this time, so going to be surprised to see some of these packs in here, maybe. Um, but they're always a great value. You'd be very hard-pressed to um, be able to put this together at your hobby shop because most of your hobby shops wouldn't even have some of this stuff, let alone at a good price. So these run in the... Does it say on there on the bottom what they run? Mm, I think they're like 70 right? Yeah, I would say they're in the $70 price range now. Yeah, so here this is your list. I just like showing the packs and not so much the list, but we do use this uh, for looking at who's in here. So we've got 93 score select. He's had this one in here before with Jeter's. Um, 13 update, a very nice pack. Very, very hard to find. 14 series one, 15 update. Any of this older update stuff's hard to find now anyways. Uh, Bowman Hobby, 2020 Topps Chrome Pink Refractor. You could hit a cool Bo Bichette or Louis Robert Pink. Uh, Heritage Minor League Hobby. 2020 series one 2020 update and the brand new 2020 series one That's something i really like about filmington's box is that he always has the uh newest series releases in the stuff so <laughs> yeah at least try to that's for sure so let's get into this one here we got 93 select i uh, said we had opened this before and i vaguely remember it so i don't remember totally to remember what the cards look like all right so we've been opening these for over two years now in, in this set, I never opened up um, when it was released. I was out of the hobby around 1989, 1990. Um, so it's kind of fun to open up stuff that you've never opened up before other than on a video like this. A lot of... Uh... There's a Conseco for the Rangers. A lot different than Select Now, that's for sure. Yes, very different than Select Now. Select Football comes out here pretty soon, actually. Um, and Select Baseball was kind of a mid-year release last year, if I remember. Yeah, right? Select that Baseball was actually very cool. Very cool, very nice looking. Um, boy, there's a lot of interesting. There's Tim Wakefield, little knuckleballer, obviously famous with the Red Sox. All right, so this one here is probably the most sought-after pack in the box, I'm guessing. Yeah, you got Arenado, Yelich, Anthony Rendon, Garrett Cole, and Marcelo Zuna rookies, and all those guys, gold, you hit autographs potentially, you hit blacks, you could hit the odds on hitting gold of these obviously. guys and that, this kind of stuff of these older years is so much better um, just because they made so much less of it. There's so. a gold in here, so let's see. Upton, there he is, Trevor cool. Bauer, the guy. Um, I thought it was Justin Bieber that went to the Dodgers. Justin Bieber. <laughs> uh -oh. Grant Green. Justin uh, Bieber doesn't even play about that. No, it's his brother, Justin Bieber. He's quit music and now he's in baseball, didn't you know? Uh, let's see, is it one of the sought after guys? No, it's not. It is a rookie. It is a rookie, right Nate one. Freeman? Not Freeman? Right All right. Cespedes home run derby. That was when Cespedes was balling. And Zach Wheeler. He rookie. was really hot too in 13. Britain never really made it with the Red Sox. Mm -mm. And Mike, Mike Holt. Oh, oh, this guy was all over the hobby. Oh, Remember yeah. that that year? Everywhere. It was like Mike Olt, Mike Olt pulling oh, autos of him left and right. All right. So we got. Um, was this 14? Yeah, some good stuff in here, too. Uh, Xander Bogarts, Abreu, and Jose Ramirez. So another pretty good, kind of an underrated set, really. Yeah, this stuff This stuff was, like, super cheap when it, uh, yeah. like, a, a couple years after it That's came out. James Paxton isn't too bad, either. James Paxton? Um, but, you know, this is actually one I might even look up and look into picking up a box of this. Victorino. Just people in here you have three perennial all-stars so that's a cool one a rivera before we get to our gold oops i just gave it away, gave it away. Yeah. but a rookie cup hinjin ryu and nunez eduardo the guys played on like every team i think in the 
MLB. I remember that card distinctly from this, my childhood. This one is not a short print. Not a short print. It sure looks like one, but it's not. Uh, last card, Alex Cobb. That's a good set. That is a good set, oh, yeah. Didn't Jose Ramirez win an MVP for the, with the Indians that one year? I think he did. And if didn't. he if he didn't, he was, like, way up then, in the yeah, running. And yeah. didn't Abreu win one? Didn't Abreu just won an MVP? Abreu won one last year, yep. And Bogarts has not won an MVP, but, no. um, you know, perennial all-star player, so. All right. Well, let's see here. 15 update is another good set. Yeah, Lindor, Lindor. Correa, Bryant, JT Ramilto, and Noah Syndergaard. That's there we go. Nice, gold. nice trout. Gold. That's pretty cool. I like that card. Although I don't like the landscape part of it being a horizontal card, but hey, that's still pretty cool. Take a trout gold any day. There's Addison Russell. He fell on some hard times there. Um, and Dylan Batances. All right. Let's do you. This is a hobby pack, so that's pretty cool. Bowman uh, from last year, hobby pack. Could pull a monster out of one pack of this stuff, and Trout is on the back, so that is always a good sign. Mm, there's just something. I think it's an insert. Yeah, I was going to say it's either a refractor or an insert. Yep. Insert. And behind it, we have more paper. This year of Bowman will be interesting to see what you, know, you don't really know how good it's going to be till a couple years back. This guy, um, I think, has some potential in the Red Sox organization, and use and the Trout. So you look at some years of stinging Bowman, Bowman Chrome. We could have bought back in the day. Okay, you know, back in the day story here. Twenty sixteen Bowman Chrome. The people in there include first Bowman, Chrome, rookies, and autographs of Fernando Tatis, Juan Soto, and Vladimir Guerrero. And I think Pete Alonzo might be in there too, but I'm not entirely sure. But I know those three for sure. Those boxes were fairly cheap because people didn't oh, like yeah. the new vending that was format. The vending. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't like it. And so we could have bought lots of that stuff, and we didn't, along with, you know, anyone else could have bought the stuff too. But. Uh, those boxes, needless to say, is like one of the best Bowman years ever now, basically. Yeah. The, Pretty crazy, so. Those things are just weird. They had all those weird configurations that year. Verlander, Torres, this is a pink pack from Topps Chrome, and Orlando Arcia. Pretty You've cool. opened up uh, a bunch of those. So that was you get either you get the retail. That was the retail, obviously, and we end up with the pink pack. So they must have all been the cello packs out of there which is pretty cool got heritage minor ethan hankins uh, richardson swaggerty didn't you get an autograph scratch off that one time yeah we did yep we got which is a possibility yeah it, it, those aren't really cool they actually are cool. they're they're hard to pull but they're very cool and you know i like that uh part of heritage minor league it's, you can definitely pull some pretty cool stuff out of minor league heritage this is a pretty underrated set. Obviously, they made a lot of it, but uh, the rookie class in here is pretty crazy, so this yeah. could definitely be one that you could see kind of explode. The, well, the prices are way up on the stuff. There's a Quino. Quino, Pete Alonzo. I think people are have recognized that it has that kind of potential. Oh, yeah. Well, the prices reflect that. I mean, hobby boxes are That's the guy way who's on the Dodgers right, right. there, Shane Bieber. Shane <laughs> Bieber, right. <laughs> nope. Uh, no, he's not. Um in my video that I did of 2020 Series 1 Hobby Box, I said I thought he got traded. I wasn't sure. And I knew it wasn't right. But it was another B, Bauer. So, close. you know, I was close. Joy Votto, that nice Kyle Lewis rookie debut. Davies, Albert Pujols. There he is. Willie Mays. Willie Mays. Plowicki. France, Starling Marte, and Andrew Suarez. All right, one more pack. 2021 Series 1 hobby. Lots of good rookies in here, too. So Carlson, Baum, Mountcastle, right Spencer Adele. Spencer Howard, Albert Abreu, Wander Franco, Tony Gonsolin, Patino, Dubon. There's a Strasburg. That was a very popular card back in the day. Yeah, those are the 70, uh, 
inserts the throwback cards. Ian Anderson, apparently people really like him. We've yeah. come to find out. Yeah, he's on the list here, Ian Anderson. And Oliver Perez. So. Yeah, we pulled a few parallels of his, and I was like, yeah, it's a pitcher for the Braves. I, th- I didn't know anything about him. And little did we know that some of the stuff sells very well. Yeah, There's and I, I kind of, I didn't know much about him, but I've, I've heard his name before, you know, one of those things where I was like, oh, yeah, I've heard you have Ian Anderson. I've heard announcers and stuff talk about him, but I didn't realize that, you know, normally pitchers just don't really have that much value, right. unfortunately, which is a spot where really they should have more value, especially kind of, you know, the GOAT pitchers, but still <laughs> uh, yeah. pretty cool that he is getting some hobby love. It'll be interesting to Goat see how he does. Right there. Yeah, Clayton Kershaw. Yeah, it will be. Yeah, it's always fun to see like the hype build up. Like you have Car- on, on this list here. It's Carlson, Baum, uh, Mount Castle, Adele, Mize, Bart, Madrigal, uh, Pache, and then Anderson. So it'll be very interesting to see if any of those guys live up to the hype. If all of them do, some of them do, or if somebody else comes out like a Randy at Rose Arena, you know, which happens from time to time. That That's always fun. Trevor Story, another example of a guy that yep. just kind of came out of nowhere. It, seem, um, it seems like there's a guy like that almost every year right at the beginning or sometimes in the midsection. Yeah. Like, look at even like our city's Aquino, yep. same kind of thing. Right, just yeah, came yeah. Out he came out, nowhere. right, right. Yep. All he had was like a 14 Bowman card. So that stuff definitely yep. happens. Trevor Story, another great example. There's just well, been a bunch of people yeah, like that. Yeah, you know? and uh, what's his name from the Padres, the second baseman? Um, Cronenworth? Yeah, Cronenworth. Cronenworth. He he was not – yeah, he was he – was, highly touted to one level but not to the level of these other guys and boy he played amazing he still isn't highly year. touted apparently because he didn't have a rookie card and update or series one right so. yeah. i know it's crazy everybody's hoping he'll have an update uh rookie card he's nowhere in series one at least if he is i haven't seen it he's not in series yeah. one uh so kind of weird tops did, did some weird things uh, the last uh little while with their sets but we'll see what happens with uh series two and then update but anyways thanks for watching guys hopefully you're doing well hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thanks again to filmington for putting this together i always love opening this up uh, lots of fun to see the variety and the value so greatly appreciate your efforts and also appreciate everybody watching thanks if you have subscribed to the channel if you haven't yet please do hit that little bell icon and be notified when we post a new video all right guys take care have fun collecting we will see you in the next break